What's good, everybody? I'm outside my Airbnb in Kigali. Let me show the view real quick. It looks nice out here at night. I think people have compared like the scenery to Medellin at night with the hills and valleys. Um, just waiting for my security to give me transportation to go to the mall. Transportation out here is a little, a little tricky. It's not uh, conventional to how we usually travel. So they have a couple local apps, but they don't really function well. The apps crash a lot, so it's not really reliable. Um, since they do drive on the same side that we drive in the U.S., you could rent a car here if you wanted to. Um, or else you would just kind of have to like flag down cars or, or ask a local to like help you get transportation. Um, next time, and if I come here again, um, I'm just going to try to stay within walking distance to places I want to go. Typically like malls um, or if it's nightlife, you want to stay within walking distance to places you want to frequent in a place like this. So um, I have more to say. I'll, to, I'll um, let you guys uh, know what I plan on doing today. All right, so I just got by the mall and I'm just uh, walking around. I hate to say uh, I seen something beautiful, but I can't show y'all, man. But uh, just take my word, man. I, I seen probably, I mean, I'm probably gonna say this probably uh, the whole time I'm here, but I probably seen one of the most beautiful women I ever seen. <laughs> you know. Uh, I thought I thought I seen some beautiful women of, of Ethiopia, but I mean, face, body, everything, man. I'm just like, wow. The only thing is, is that I have to learn, I have to figure out the culture, because it doesn't matter how beautiful a woman is if you guys are different from a cultural perspective. So. Just like Ethiopia, there's just some things uh, that um, they're just very, they're just very conservative, too conservative for some things, and so culturally, I don't align with like let's say Ethiopians, but religiously I align with them, but not, but not necessarily culture. So I have to kind of learn more about the culture here. But I will say, the women are definitely, definitely beautiful in Rwanda. We out here, Kigali, you know, it's hot as hell. Um, so what's the, what's the top three clubs in Rwanda, man? What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the top three clubs in Rwanda? What, what's the one you just said? What's the name? La Noche? Shooters. Um, yeah. There's so many, like, I don't think shooters. Um, envy in the club. Envy? Okay, okay. Any day of the week? Like, every night. It's on. Yeah, it's on every night. Okay. Because some people was making it seem like there's nothing to do until Friday and Saturday. That's what people... Yeah, people just go there on weekends, on weekends. That's when people just go there. So what, what can I go tonight? Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday, it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, on MP, at Sambi, okay. shooters, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of girls there, cuties there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, real quick, like, uh, let me see. Uh, you know, some, like some guys, they want to come and have a good time. Uh -huh. And some want to look for a wife, like, right away. Yeah. So, is it, is it like, you can find a wife here? Or? Yeah, you can find a wife. It depends on what you want. Like, you can find a wife Would you date a foreigner? 
What a long distance. Could you could you do a long distance? <laughs> or you prefer him to live here? Do you know girls that do long distance? Okay, okay, cool, cool. Well, I'm gonna see how Rwanda treats me, man.